Hello YouTube, Henry here. Um, it's been about what um, a year since my last video, <clears throat> and I think today we'll talk about the RFID NFC um, implant microchips. And before I get started, um, I want to say that anybody who's religious or Christians in particular, please don't comment saying this is the mark of the beast and I'm going to hell and stuff like that because. I'm not, I don't believe in that sort of thing, so please just go away, and if you comment, I'm just going to remove it. Now, I'm going to stress this, that this chip was not forced on me, and I don't believe that any of these chips should be forced on anyone. Also, I, it cannot be tracked. I mean, if I go missing or something like that, you can't locate me with it, unless you're pretty much standing right next to me, and obviously by that time you would have found me. Um, so yeah, I think America had sort of the right idea with this very chip um, thing that had met that you had put in your arm and stored medical records on. That, I think, is a good idea, but the bad thing about it was it was not encrypted. There was no way to encrypt it, which means anybody could get a reader and scan it. <clears throat> I mean, you can simply buy these readers and plug it into your phone and you can easily go and scan. Um, so yeah, they should, they should make them encrypted so only medical professionals um, can have access to them and for only them to have access to them and no one else or so no malicious crap can go on. Um, the other good thing is like if you're in an accident or something like that, and you know no one can find your details and um when you when you go to the hospital they can just scan your your arm and find out who you are where you live your next of kin and stuff like that i think i'm all for that it's a great idea but you know the way they had it the way they've got it now is there's no encryption on it which means anybody can read it which is the stupid thing it's like the one the one i've got you know you can you'd be able to read it if you've got a reader that's why there's nothing really personal on it. Um, yeah, so... I mean... The work in... I got this from a mine from a place called Dangerous Things, who, it, which is um, based in Seattle in America. Um, you know, I've, I've been planning on it for a while now, and... They've got they're working on another one, um, a new one that's coming out that apparently you can use it to pay for things and stuff like that, which you know, I I think that's what they were doing. I'm fairly certain that's what they're doing anyway. Yeah, which um, which I think it's UKI, uh, UKI, yes. And um, as I say, I think you can pay for things with that, stuff like that. So I think it'll work just similar to like um. Android Pay, Samsung Pay, and, um, and uh, Apple Pay, where you'll just scan your device or your tag on the reader. Don't quote me, I'm not totally sure yet, because um, it's in development at the moment, and there's not too much information being on it. Now, my reasons for having my chip done. Uh, main thing, curiosity. Um Hell, I'm curious about all technology. I'm, I, I enjoy, you know, experimenting, and you know, I didn't, I didn't do this lightly. I didn't just say, wake up one day and say, look, I want it done. Yay, let's get it done. Last year, you know, I was watching a video, a couple of videos on YouTube, and you know, this article, article as well, about implants and magnets and stuff like that. And, you know, I, I wasn't sure, uh, well, I thought back then it was a good idea and I, I didn't do it then because um, I didn't know where you could get the things from. And plus, you know, finances at that point were bad. And um, about a couple of months ago, I was started looking at them again. And I'm thinking, you know, I think it's it's high time. And um, finances are a little, were a little bit better. So I thought, well, I'll just, 
I'll just get one. The NFC one, you know, we're speaking what UK prices. It isn't exactly cheap. But you know, I got it anyway. Um, now the the things that I like with it, uh, for um, like to do with it, is the fact that you know you can have like contact details on there. So if you go out and you meet somebody new, or you, you know, or you give, or you speak to somebody about business, to, uh, business things and stuff like that. So instead of giving them like, instead of carrying business cards around, or you know, giving them your details, you can just. You know, use the phone, scan it on your hand, and details will be copied over to their phone. There's that. Um, if you have a rooted phone, I haven't found a normal app on on the um, on the Google Play Store that handles this. There is an option in since Lollipop, I think it is, where you can unlock your phone on the smart devices, but that um, causes problems with the the chip when using it for other things other than the the smart device. Um yeah, so if you have your phone rooted and have the exposed framework on, you can have your like your your lock screen on and you can put it near the tag and it'll unlock it. And you put it near the tag again and it'll lock it. Um without having your phone on the lock screen and then doing it. Um another one is to Use it. You get special locks for doors where you can just swipe your hand across, and you know, um, it'll unlock the door. Now a lot of, a lot of um companies and stuff like that um have these locks on doors so they just swipe the hand or a tag, <coughs> and they can open the door and get in. Samsung have made these 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 new locks that you can put on normal. Home door, house doors, and stuff like that, where you can just swipe your hand. Um, you can get readers for computers where you just swipe your hand to unlock the computer, which you know is a good idea. Um, what else? Yeah, I've seen videos where people have got these NFC tags on the car doors, and with a swipe hand it unlocks the door. Um, there is one video I've seen where somebody could, somebody's got an NFC reader on the motorcycle and they swipe the hand and it starts it. So that's a good one. Um, I'm actually thinking that's about it for now. But what I've got here is I've got a couple of pictures that I'll put in the uh, in the video, and. I have got a video of the implant done now. The implant only took well. I didn't do. I didn't record the whole video. But I did. So I um, just recorded it while um, I was getting my hand prepped, and the needle going in, which is only about fifty one seconds. So there's that. Um, yeah. So have fun, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.